I genuinely never thought that this day would come. I seriously thought that this was going to be swept under the rug and never talked about ever again officially. But holy crap, Bethesda Game Studios, they're actually doing it. They're actually removing legacy weapons from Fallout 76. And we need to talk about it. This is massive news. I know that I haven't really covered the game for the past few months. Heck, I haven't even played the game for the past few months. I played it a couple of times after the pit launched. But since then, I haven't touched it. But this has been an issue for so many years. It's been the bane of my existence for so many years that I can't not talk about it. I can't not share my opinion. So let's do it. This, this video might be a little bit spicy. All right, there's going to be a, a heated debate in the comments, I'm sure. So I encourage you to debate along, all right, all right? Feel free to disagree with what I say. If you enjoyed the video, nevertheless, even if you might not agree, if you enjoyed the video, please like it. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe if you are new. We cover Bethesda content, Fallout content, and other content now as well. Xbox, Ubisoft, general games industry stuff. Good stuff coming on this channel. But let's do it. We're going to talk about three things today. I'm just laughing. We're going to talk about one, quickly what legacies are. Very quick description, not technical, just to kind of catch all of you up that are new, that have no idea what I'm talking about. Like I tweeted out today that legacies are removed in 76. There were so many people that had no idea what I was talking about. So we're going to do a quick description. Number two, we'll cover what Bethesda Game Studios actually has to say to give them credit and to, and to see what they have said about the matter. And then three, we'll talk about my thoughts on everything. I will try and cover both sides of the argument, but you, you can tell where my biases are right now. I think this was the right call. It's absolutely the correct decision, but we'll get into that in a bit. So, number one, what are legacies? TLDR, they are weapons with certain legendary effects that used to drop in the game that no longer drop because Bethesda Game Studios was like, we're like, these, these weapons are broken. They are broken, overpowered, and mean people can cheese the game very easily. And that's why they decided to no longer drop these weapons. However, the problem was, is that for a certain period post-launch, there were a lot of players, a lot of people that were legitimately obtaining these weapons. And when they stopped dropping in the game, they didn't disappear from their inventories. They just kept these weapons and they became known as legacies. And a lot of these were so overpowered, they let you just cheese the game. Not all of them. I want to be clear. Not every legacy was actually overpowered, all right? There were some of them that were actually weaker or even around the same power as some legitimately now legitimately obtained weapons in the game right so they weren't all broken but some of them really were the gatling plasma i'm looking at you some of them were so broken that they really let you cheese the game they, they were overpowered if you've ever seen a scorch beast queen just get wrecked and you have no idea what happened chances are there might have been a legacy we weapon at work and i know that they're a hugely controversial topic I know there's a lot of you out there that just wanted to use your legacy weapons in your own private world and not disrupt anyone. You, you're not you're not ruining anyone else's fun. Well, let's be real. They did ruin a lot of people's fun and they were duped to hell. I guarantee you not every legacy weapon out there is legitimate. That is, that is nowhere near true. So this was an issue that did need to be needed to be fixed at some stage and they are doing it in the PTS right now. Legacies are removed. Also as well, m weapons that have illegal mods too, that are, you know, clearly not part of the game. They were never legitimately dropped in the game. There are illegal weapons out there or, or mods, uh, weapons with illegal mods that are also removed. So Bethesda is taking action against both of those things. So let's see what they have to say, okay? So they said on the latest Inside the Vault, Although we are playing in a post-apocalyptic world, we still want to keep that world fair, fun, and inviting to war. It's a nice sentiment, right? While you have been exploring and rebuilding, we have been working on a new system that works behind the scenes to remove illegal attachment combinations that violate the end user license agreement or EULA to ensure that every single player is using and trading the same items and has the same advantages as you. In today's PTS update, we are implementing a system that will remove illegal mods attached to weapons that cannot be obtained in game. Most players will not notice any change to their existing weapons. However, Players who are in possession of a weapon with a mod that cannot be equipped naturally to the weapon may notice a damage decrease to the weapon. To the weapon, I get it. And the mod will no longer exist. This is intentional and does not need to be reported on the PTS Bug Reports channel in our official Discord, but we encourage you to report anything unusual you observe outside of this change. They use very interesting terminology there. They kept stressing the, the term illegal. Legacy, let's be very clear at least ones that weren't duped the legacies that dropped validly and legitimately at the time they were not illegally dropped at the time like these were legitimate weapons 
it technically until Bethesda said, no, we're not going to drop these anymore. But that didn't just kind of disregard all these people that had these weapons and drop them completely fairly. And I think that's partly why maybe they couldn't work it out, but also partly why they didn't just want to take these weapons away from people. They just wanted to try and reduce their <laughs> their impact on the, on the game moving forward and the health of the game. So they're, they're not illegal, but this update is definitely affecting them as much as it's, as it's affecting actually illegal weapons or, or weapons with illegal mods, okay? So as I said, there's both of them. And then on Reddit, we have a, a post by user Swift Learner who says, Legacies are officially dead. New PTS update removes all unobtainable legendary effects and other hacked mods. So you see what I mean? Unobtainable, not hacked, not illegal, unobtainable now legacy of uh, legendary effects and other hacked mods. The second one is no doubt you cannot complain that hacked mods are gone. You cannot complain unless this, uh, you like to cheat. Like legitimately, you, you can't. That was the right call. The more questionable and controversial question or debate is about legacy weapons. So we need to talk about that, right? And then the devs as well, BGS devs in the Discord, and this was posted by user Mighty Paladin on the Fallout 76 subreddit, said that while there are no timeframes or specifics to share right now, more balance, balance changes for weapons and combat are planned as well. So not only is Bethesda Game Studios removing legacies and removing hacked weapons, but it seems like they're going to finally follow up on their promised changes after One Wasteland to change and, and balance the game better in, term of, in terms of weapon damage. And it's probably the best time to do it now that legacies are removed and, and, and people can't rely on them. So it seems, there seems to be some good days and some happy days ahead for you Fallout 76 players that are still grinding away and playing the game. But what are my thoughts? <laughs> As I said, it's very clear. I think this is the right call. In terms of the health of the game, it does not make sense to have a certain subset of special people that have these weapons that no one else can validly obtain. I know, I, I am aware that you obtain them legitimately at one point. I know as well that a lot of you simply use them in your private server, you had your own farm with it, and you did not disrupt anyone else's gameplay. I know, but you need to admit whether they were duped or whether they were valid, people were using legacy weapons in the main game to actively ruin other people's fun, or they were doing things that were ruining other people's fun. I know some of you are out there like, I actually don't mind the Scorch Beast Queen dies quickly because it's easier for me. We can keep doing the runs. I keep getting my flux and my rewards and, and whatever. I know some of you have that argument, but there's a lot of people that actually want to kill the Queen and have a bit of fun, or at least have the chance to get the damage in to get the rewards, right? So I think this is the right call for the health of the game. There's a lot of other issues and Tyr has talked about this extensively. Angry Turtle has talked about this extensively. Like there were serious issues called, caused by legacies and it's the correct call. But I, I, part of me is empathetic to those of you that didn't try to ru ruin other people's gameplay experience. But as I said, you have to admit it did. The fact that legacies are there absolutely did. And the duping made the problem actively worse. Worse, Maybe if they were never duped, and it really was that very small percentage and subset of people that had the really broken legacies, maybe if that was the case, I'd be more empathetic. But it got so out of hand that th there was no other option. Bethesda Game Studios had to do this. And you know what? The fact that they were removing other hacked weapons at the same time or hacked mods at the same time, it's this is the the right call okay i'm just gonna say well i understand some of these arguments on the other side this is absolutely the right call but even so and and, and i'm gonna say this i think it is the right call and i and i do think that bethesda game studios deserves credit for this it's it's a decision that they would have absolutely known that would have gotten the backlash and you can see people actively pissed off they made this decision knowing that knowing it was the right call for the game in their opinion and in my opinion and they stuck to their guns and did it anyways so in that regard they deserve credit for it a hundred percent but there's a few gripes that i have one it took too long it took we, we when was this game actually launched i don't even remember it's been years years now <laughs> And it's only now finally being addressed. That, that, that to me, it took way too long. It needed to be addressed much, much earlier. I understand that it was an incredibly complex issue and it needed to be done right too. It seems like they have taken the correct steps. So it's not, you know, you know what's happened with some 76 changes in the past. They change one thing and it, and it messes up a million other things, right? This was, of all issues in the game, this one is that they had to get right. Because just imagine they just accidentally deleted a bunch of your weapons. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine that they like ruined 
tons of your other legitimately obtained weapons that weren't legacies. Could you imagine that happened? It could have. If they messed up one thing or this bug caused that bug and it was a, it was a snowball effect, that might have happened. They had to get this right. So I understand why they took their time. But in my, in my opinion, it was still overdue. Even that being said. So there, there's that that I, I, I will say. All right. Number two these changes to to the to the balance of the combat and to to weapon damage especially now that every enemy is freaking level 50 plus and really hard to kill unless you have a perfectly spec build these changes that were promised after one wasteland are also long overdue like they they, they I, I can't remember the specific terminology that was used but it was said or implied or hinted that, that yes further changes to to balance are going to be happening after one wasteland because that was a notoriously hated update because it made enemies and killing enemies a lot harder especially for people without those you know kind of uber spec builds and they just never followed through on it and 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 that was not the right call they needed to actively keep on top of it as they as they promised and now I, I, at least it's finally happening but i still think it, it took too long so that's number two number three in my opinion this still doesn't affect the biggest issue with the game and i know i know i'm beating a dead horse here but I have to mention it. This is, yes, it's it's crucial, a crucial component to secure the health and the future of Fallout 76 moving forward. Absolutely. But do you know what's infinitely more important? New content. New meaningful content. The pit to me was a such a wasted opportunity. It could have been so much more. And unfortunately, a lot of it did boil down to daily ops 2.0 i know that's a crude description of it and it's not doing sub parts of the pit justice like it looked beautiful i would love to have been able to explore it more but that's also another issue that i had with it because it's these instance things that you can only do like kind of one slice of it and then you leave and it's just doing the same missions over and over to get those like it, it's it, it's something that if you're a Fallout 76 player you, you you knew was coming you knew that this was the game you knew that this this is what you were buying into this has been the end game grind for years and BGS is it's really just sticking to that, right? But I still think it could have been so much more than that. It could have been a really cool expansion to the level of Wastelanders, for instance. So I think it was a missed opportunity. And, and, and I do believe even with Nuka World on tour coming later this year, I don't think that's going to blow, blow anyone's socks off. I don't think that this is content that's going to bring people back to the game. I, this game has so much potential. I, I wish... I know it's hard. I know it's I know it's hard. Game dev is not easy. And they're clearly a studio that is is working on another big game. Like Starfield, you might have heard of it. Like it's it's clearly, clearly taking up a lot of Bethesda Game Studios time. They're already delayed it. A lot of resources required for that game. So who knows what team is actually still left working on Fallout 76. It's clear that when you get an update like The Pit and compare it to something like Wastelanders, which is just so much bigger, clearly something has gone on there, right? So <laughs> uh, I understand I am I am empathetic, but I, I still want to see more from this game. And I do believe that it needs more meaningful content. It's the only way that the game's player base is going to actively increase. And I don't think it's like, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't think it's actually going to happen. I think this is the future of the game. I talked about this in my future Fallout 76 video. I think these are the kinds of updates that we're going to get. We're going to get updates that are, ha, bring new rare rewards that require you to grind, that try and make you play every single day or at least every single week. That, I think that's what this game is going to be. And if you love it, great. That's what you enjoy. I enjoyed it too. There was one stage where I enjoyed it, but eventually I think everyone gets to that stage where the end game, end game grind just grinds you pardon the pun but it, it, it just wears at you and it doesn't feel enjoyable anymore it eventually feels like a job and you don't want your video games feeling like a job so those are my thoughts correct call bgs credit to you 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 made a decision knowing you'd get backlash i know some of you uh, are disappointed but i think hopefully you can agree or at least recognize some of these legitimate arguments that it's correct for the for the health of the game but this game still has some issues and it really needs new content. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below, ladies and gentlemen. This has been the Lone Vault Wanderer and until next time, please take care of yourselves and would you kindly keep fighting the good fight.